Okay, now that all of our purlin holders are fastened down securely, we're ready to install the purlins. Now your kit should come with all of your purlins cut to the right measurement. There are two in the kit that are a little shorter than the rest, and those are the purlins that go from the inside of this post here to the inside of the post down there. So that's your first purlin and your very last purlin. If you did happen to trim the width of your kit, no problem. You can cut all of your purlins to fit. You do that with getting the measurement. You stick your tape measure here, kind of fish it into that last hole so it's flush against that box beam. Pull that measurement all the way down to here. Here we have 115 and a half. You're gonna subtract an inch and a half from that measurement and that's gonna be your cut mark. So in this case, it'd be 114. Your first and last purlin that go here on the end and other end are gonna be 12 inches shorter than that measurement. So each one of these purlins comes with a cap to fit on the very end. And this little cap makes it a lot easier to slide the purlin in through the holes. So there is one other little trick that we do here to make it easier to install these, and it involves removing the screws in your last rafter. I went ahead and did that in advance. There's a little piece here that comes with your kit called a rafter block. We take that rafter block, slide up that last rafter, should fit tight in there. We repeat that step on the other end. That just raises this purlin holder up high enough that it's easy to slide the purlins in. And when we're all done, get your outside purl and holder on. So once that's there, your cap's installed in the end, you can start fishing these through. And it's helpful to have an assistant for this part, but if you don't, you can do it by yourself. It just takes a little bit of patience to get the first couple going. Okay, once all your purlins are installed, it's time to put on the outside purlin holder. And with this piece, it's best to start on one end and work your way down. We slide these purlins back ever so slightly. It's kind of normal for this purlin holder to twist a little bit as you go about that. And you're gonna pull out these rafter blocks real gently. And we should, with a little bit of persuasion, and before you hit it too hard, you want to make sure that all these purlins are actually in the holder. There. Should drop right into place like that. Now, you still want this outside purlin holder to be kind of flush with the top of your beam. So as you go underneath it and put your screws into this purlin holder, you're going to want to make sure you hold it up nice and flush. Once that's all done, you're going to want to put fasteners in your last outside picket. You want to center this picket between the posts. Right about like that. It's helpful if you peel the stickers from the 
purlin holders before this step. Go ahead and screw that in down here. You'll do the same with that purlin at the other end and the same with this purlin here. So at that point, really that's all there's left to do is peel stickers, put a couple screws back in the rafter that we unscrewed to get the purlins in, put a few plugs in this outside purlin holder and clean off any marks. And if you remember, all these kits come with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, a um, little bit of Windex and water with that will take off any scuffs or pencil marks you happen to make while you're putting the kit together. So it's time to get a cold beverage and enjoy the shade. Thank you very much. <music>